Hello, on this video, we are going to learn how to write a class discussion. We are also going to look into responding to classmate discussion post. In other words, writing replies to discussion post. For online students, writing a discussion makes up for interaction enjoyed by a student in a physical class. Students attending classes virtually benefit from a class discussion by being engaged with fellow course mates. As a student, you want to take class discussions and respond on time to classmates' posts very seriously if you plan to pass your exams. When writing a discussion, the first rule is to go through the given readings. The second rule always relates or make a connection between your life and the text or question of discussion. A discussion is meant to show your instructor and classmates what you understand from your reading and your course by articulating it in your own words. A discussion post is a mini essay in which you have to present a single central argument and provide clear evidence to support that argument. The discussion length ought to be a minimum of 150 words and maximum word count should in most cases not exceed two pages. Remain clear, focused, and relevant to the topic. Here is an example of a discussion post on abortion. Abortion is a basic health care need for millions of women and girls who become pregnant without prior plans. Besides, unmarried women having children can cause severe problems for their child later in life. A child without a father is likely to become a drug addict. So a woman must have an abortion if the father is not in the picture. According to so-and-so, providing women across the globe with access to safe and legal abortion services Woman. Note, discussion is supposed to build a conversation with each post encouraging a reply, thus expanding the conversation. How to write replies. As a student, you will be required to respond to at least two of your classmates' discussion posts. Here are the dos and don'ts that must be adhered to when writing replies. Always be respectful when replying to classmate posts. Never use emojis, exclamation point, or contractions when replying. Review your spelling and grammar before posting a reply. The four rules you must adhere to when replying are Be respectful. Make a meaningful reply. Write in context, this means making correlation to what you have learned in the course. Ask a question. Asking open-ended questions in a discussion post is always encouraged and will add more points. Ask your classmate to elaborate on a point they made in their discussion. Keywords to use when responding constructively to a classmate post. No because. Yes and. Yes but. I agree with your argument that. Note. Never write you are wrong, I disagree with you. The idea is to be polite and respectful. For example, if you do not agree with my discussion post on abortion, you can respectfully disagree. No, because blah blah. This way, you are showing appreciation for classmate opinion and explaining why you do not agree with them. Avoiding emotional appeals and not attacking the writer is the key to friendly conversation. Hey, Rosie, I respectfully disagree with your view on abortion. While it is understandable to be concerned about a child growing up without one parent, there is no connection between drug addiction and growing up without a father. Perhaps you could elaborate why you feel there is a connection between growing up without a father and drug addiction. If you plan to agree with a discussion post, you can use keywords such as I see your point about I agree with you that I like the way you bring out your argument on abortion. I would like to add to your argument on why abortion is necessary. I found your post to be an eye-opener for an issue that can lead to abortion. You can also choose to support the argument but reserve some opposition to some allegations made in the post. Here is another version of reply example. As much as I support abortion as a woman's fundamental right, I do not see the connection between children born by unmarried women becoming a drug addict. I never knew my dad, but I have never tasted drugs in my life. 